No way! Dude, did I just find the camera that's gonna take down the Logitech C920 to be the best starter camera for live streamers out there? I think I might have. This is the HD 600, which is going to be one of the best cameras that you've never heard about that you should have. This little guy creates awesome quality. It's Xbox capable, and guess what? It's available. Let's take a look. What is up all you awesome streamers, Wild for Games here, helping you make your content and live streams bigger and better. Need help with tips, tricks, how-tos, or product reviews just like in this video right here? Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. It's really tough to find a good deal for a web camera out there, so that's why I want to take a look at the HD 600 web camera to see if it will be perfect for you. So let's dive really quick into all the specs of that camera. The Yoon Xano HD 600 is a 1080p and 720p 30 frames per second web camera. Has autofocus detection and low light correction. On the camera itself has a built-in ring light with three adjustable brightness settings. The camera comes on a base that delivers 360 degree rotation also with a tilt function. Comes with precision white balance adjustments, dual stereo microphones with noise canceling, and is an easy plug and play unit to get you up and running within no time flat. And if you're an Xbox user out there, this camera is Xbox compatible for your streaming needs. The Yunzano HD 600 comes in right around 40 USD to 80 USD on Amazon. The HD 600 also has two unique specs listed down. It has a wide angle lens that claims that it will do no distortion to the image as well as facial enhancement. I have no idea what the hell that is, so let's see if we can find out. Now all those specs are cool and everything, but how does the camera look? Well, here we go. And here you go, this is how I look on the HD 600 web camera shooting at 1080p 30 frames per second. And to be honest, I think it looks actually really good, comparable to a lot of other really good web cameras out there. In fact, I think it holds right up there with Logitech C920, which is the warhorse for a lot of streamers out there. If I played around with this a lot more and fine tuned everything, hey, this one might even be a little bit better, surprisingly. Now, one thing you probably noticed is how you can see all of my room, and that's due to the wide angle lens on this camera. Now, I couldn't find anything in the specs that said what number it might be, but if I had to take my shot in the dark, I would say probably around 100 degrees. But one thing it claims on the box is no image distortion. And to be honest, I don't really see any. And that is fantastic. So that's a win for this camera right here. Perhaps my favorite thing about this camera, get ready, is the color profile. I actually love the colors in this camera. They're pretty close to true when you make adjustments. And that's the key thing about this camera. Making adjustments to it is a breeze. I feel like it's a dumbed down color profile where it has smaller or gradual changes in the gradients or color tones or color temperature, which is awesome. There's no drastic changes, so you can fine tune it to be better for you. There is no going way too over with blue or way too over with orange. You can fine tune it right in the middle, which I love, love, love about this camera. So what about that facial enhancement that this camera was claiming it could do on some of the spec pages out there? Well, I think you have to set the camera up and fine tune it, and then you probably have to re-log into your broadcasting software to get it to activate, so let me do that. Oh my God, I look so dreamy. I love this. No, I couldn't find what freaking facial enhancement does. I think it's just a fancy term of saying, good clarity to this web camera, which to be honest, I think it actually does have good visual clarity. Now, is there anything bad about this web camera? Yeah, I've got a few bad things to say about it. Number one would be the ring light that's built in on the web camera that has the three adjustable light settings. It sucks, it doesn't work, it's a full on gimmick. You wanna see how bad it is? Let me show you what the brightest setting is when I turn off all my lights here. All right, every single light is off except the background lights and my monitors are on low and the ring light is off itself. So let me show you what it looks like on the brightest setting. Did you miss it? Cause it's turned on right now. It's like a sun is hitting me in the face. No, it sucks. It doesn't do anything. It is a gimmick. 
Now it's fine that it doesn't do anything because I didn't expect it to do anything. I do think it has a small value to it though. When you put the ring light on, it lets you know that you're live streaming and it'll allow you to look more at the camera, which is a great way to make communication to the viewing audience like you out there, which will help you. So I guess it's not that bad, but don't expect to illuminate your stream with it. Problem number two about this web camera, and I don't know why I can't get it to work, but the zoom feature doesn't work on this camera. Perhaps it needs an update or you do need to download a driver for it, but if you're using anything like a broadcasting software, I couldn't get it to work, so you'll have to move the camera closer to you if you want a closer crop. Another problem with this web camera is it only handles low light situations kind of okay. If you look behind me, you'll notice some things are a little bit artifacty or dancing around or not really that clear. And it's because it doesn't know how to compensate for that low light that well. But again, that doesn't bother me too much when I take into consideration the price of this camera. But if you're a low light streamer or gamer out there, hey, take that in consideration when you get this camera. Perhaps my biggest problem with this camera is when you turn off your broadcasting software or close it or unplug the camera, it always adjusts back to really crappy, orange, yellowy looking settings. So you have to set everything up again if you wanna start broadcasting. A minor thing if you write down your settings or you don't have to do that many adjustments, but that bothers the heck out of me. But there's no way around it that I could find. Now, if you're really curious how I sound on the HD 600 web camera out there, here we go. This is how I sound on the HD 600. And of course, just like every web camera out there, it doesn't sound good at all, which is why I would recommend getting a different external microphone so you can have good clarity. Let's go back to my normal voice. Now, I personally think the HD 600 camera looks pretty darn good, but it reminds me of another camera. It reminds me of the VitAid 960A web camera. I mean, like you almost can't even tell the difference between these and get this. These are the boxes for both cameras. I can't even tell which is actually which. So how do they stack up? Well, let's take a look. And here you go. You can see the comparison between the VitAid 960A and the HD 600 web camera. And you can see the difference between the two here. Now, I think the VitAid 960A doesn't look as good as the HD 600, but to be fair, the VitAid 968 doesn't really do that well with a mixture of colors because it adds too much magenta or green, as you can see. I do think the VitAid works really, really well in daylight or neutral white situations, which you can take a look at the review I did on that camera in the top right of the corner up there. Let's also compare the camera against its biggest competitor, the Logitech C920. And this is how the C920 looks compared to the HD 600 web camera. And I like a lot the C920 camera, but you can see how muted I am because that's more neutral. Now to fix that, all we have to do is easily just add in the configuration some saturation and let's see how that looks. And there you go, with the saturation adjustment, you make the call, which one do you think looks better? One looks a little brighter and a little more vibrant, but one also looks a little more true in color of how it would naturally portray the environment. So I think it's really up to you on which one you think would be best for you. I'm curious, what camera do you think is best? Also take into consideration, what camera do you think is best for the price? Gotta weigh both those options, but hey, I think I look pretty darn good on both. So what do I think of the HD 600 web camera? You know, I actually really like it. It comes in on Amazon between 40 USD and 80 USD. And to be fair, I think at this moment, it's worth it at any one of those prices. If you can steal it for right around 40 USD, that is awesome because this camera actually really does deliver. I was truly impressed by it. Now, if you think you're gonna get the HD 600, you can do me a favor and use the links in the video description down below. It costs you nothing, but it really does help support my channel. So thank you very much. Now, if you're probably wondering out there, which one should I go with, the HD 600 or the Logitech C920? You know, that's a tough call because I actually really like both of these cameras. I don't know. Perhaps that deserves its own video. And if you want something like that, hey, leave me a comment down below and I can take these two Titans into the Thunderdome and see which one wins. But you know, if you want with this camera, I wouldn't blame you. It's fantastic. Now, if you want to kick up your visual representation on your stream or content creation or whatever you're doing 
online. I've got a great camera for you if you want to spend a little bit more money. It is the Logitech Brio, and I'm going to put that video right over here for you to take a look after the end of this one. It's an awesome camera, and you're just going to love it. Until next time, Wild for Games, making sure your content is bigger and better. And until next time, I will see all of you beautiful people. Peeper? People. Later. Take care and peace. It's tough doing sign-offs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> peace.